Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Ryder, Consultant Audiologist and Director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of the Waxscope, which is due to be launched in early December. We were originally hoping to launch the Waxscope um, early autumn, but we just had a slight delay with the, the tooling for the specular, but it's all going well, it's on course to um, be completed by the end of November, hopefully, and we can launch almost immediately because everything else has been um, finalised. And we just have a patient here who attended with a blocked left ear and they're experiencing pulsatile tinnitus, cardiosynchronous, so they're hearing their own heartbeat. And as you know, whenever you've got uh, pulsatile tinnitus, we've got to be, um, just be a bit more cautious. We're going to ensure that it's hopefully uh, just due to the wax, but if it's not and their symptoms are still uh, persistent after removal of the wax, then we need onward referral. Uh, potential causes for pulsatile tinnitus is uh, a glomus tumour or a blocked carotid artery, so it does need to be checked. Sometimes it could also be a superior canal dehiscence, maybe even a patulous eustachian tube, but, uh, or even a blocked eustachian tube. But nonetheless, that needs to be investigated. But um, the patient said it was sporadic, so they, we, it's too soon to tell after removing this wax whether the pulsatile tinnitus had uh, alleviated, but I'm pretty sure, hopeful, um, that it is due to the wax and they will be symptom free. So I just put some olive oil spray in here and we're just removing this plug. Now, whilst you're watching that, um, just had a few qu queries. We spent, uh, we sent an email out yesterday uh, to our mailing list about the wax code, just to give an update, and we've had um, some just some questions back. So I thought um, um, it might be good for me to just um, uh, discuss some of those questions um, on the video. Uh, before I do that, you can just see we've, we've removed the occlusion. I'm just peeling some dead keratin around the edge. We, there was a bit of clarinetting, so we didn't get all of this out, but I got the majority out. But the blockage is gone see the patient's syndrome. In fact, you can see the patient's incus, and I will come back to that moment in a moment. So one of the questions is with the wax scope is whether you need training. Now, if um, we, we highly recommend training with any, any new device, um, that's the best way to be comfortable with um, the technology that you're using. Um, but if you're already performing uh, microsuction using a specular in some format, so head loops or microsuction with an ENT operating microscope, and you're comfortable with straightening and dilating the ear canal, because that is a skill in itself, um, to straighten and dilate the ear canal with a specular, then you may be, and you're experienced in doing that, you may just be okay. Um, we're going to upload some wax scope tutorials on our YouTube channel. Um, to go through all the settings and the way it's held and the operational use. Um, but in terms of the eye clear scope, endoscope, we've had quite a few people that are saying, uh, contacting us saying that um, they've got trained in earwax removal using a different methodology, so head loops or uh, some other device or uh, an ENT operating microscope, and they feel that they don't <laughs> need to get trained with the eye clear scope as a result, and they've been watching videos now. An endoscope, the, the reason why I've developed the wax scope is because the endoscope is a very difficult skill to acquire. Now, once you've acquired that skill, and if you're able to acquire, acquire sorry, um, the ability and the skill set to use an endoscope, there quite literally is nothing, in my opinion, that is better for earwax removal. Um, and if, you've, if you've seen the videos, um, I think that's testament to that. But you, you can't... Um, uh, yeah, you can't just use an endoscope. It's a surgical device. It requires high-level training. Um, uh, and in fact, um, I've discovered over the last... Because we've been training people with the endoscope since 2015, and it's the people that have never actually um, performed earwax removal before that I feel um, are easier to train, because if you're trained performing earwax removal using a different technique, we're having to almost dewire you and reprogram you to, to use the endoscope. And... I mean, we've had ENT registrars come on the course who are already using endoscopes um, as part of their job. Uh, maybe not in the in the ears, but I'll come back to that. So you, that's the patient's ear. Um, you see the hammer bone there, and just to the right, the incus. So, um, yeah, training is absolutely necessary. Now, uh, if you want to purchase it, fine. Um, that's not a problem. We can sell it to you, but it's not recommended. Um, and we've got a legal disclaimer in the user guide. But also, uh, it will have, I'm not sure you're going to be able to get 
insured because you, you have to be um, to get insured in performing uh, so your professional indemnity with endoscopic earwax well you must be accredited to do that and uh, I compare it to um, if I were to learn to um, uh, ride a, a motorcycle and I pass my test uh, that doesn't mean that I can then drive a, a car or HGV van or um, something along those lines or if I learn how to fly a helicopter it doesn't mean I can then fly a, a, a plane um, it's a completely different skill set and so insurance are going to be an issue you, you could be working out your scope of practice and most importantly you're potentially putting your patients in harm's way so um, they're the ones that you're going to be using an endoscope in their ear and so uh, it's not recommended uh, we have sold them in the past and people are really struggling to use it and I think also the moral question that you have to ask is, would you yourself be happy if you're one of your family members saw a specialist for a treatment that they're not specifically trained to perform? Um, I mean, I wouldn't be happy. So um, it's not recommended, guys. Do, don't take shortcuts. Get trained. And um, if you are interested, please do send an email to info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.